North Village is getting ready for their youth camp uh, coming up shortly. Um, what are, give us some of the details of what actually going to take place this year, as this is the third or fourth year with uh, Rangers FC, isn't it? I believe it's the third annual Rangers FC camp, which is, of course, affiliated with Rangers FC in Scotland, one of the elite teams who are now in the championship but look like they way back up to the Premier Division. Uh, so that shows that there's good development and good coaching taking place in one of the premier clubs in Europe. Um, the village is pleased and proud to have a partnership which is entering its fifth year. Um, with Rangers having facilitated trips for North Village youth players to go overseas and in return to have come here to the island not to only give their coaching pedigree to North Village youth players but to all youth players on the island that wish to attend the camp. It's going to be a week-long camp with uh, five days activity it will run approximately 8.30 to 3 o'clock, 3.30. Some after-school care is available but any of the youth players that come out are going to be really tested on their skill sets because they do bring that professional um, capabilities with them. Now one thing, this thing has been going on for quite some time and one of the things that I notice a lot is that even though they deal with a lot of youngsters, it's high intensity from the coaches right from the start. Is that something that we need to get used to here locally? Yes, you know professional coaches are not just going to come and allow an amateur environment to creep into their daily setting. That's what they've been trained all UA for B, UA for A licensed coaches. So they're bringing that mentality that even though they're coaching in Bermuda, they're looking to see if there's anyone that's available to be seen overseas. And they want to be seen as professionals. They're not here on vacation. They're actually here to assist us with our football development.